Elvin is here. Yeah, me, Elvin. And I'm making VOD. Um, I promise to do that, so of, of course, after a few years, after I remember, I'm to the, doing this. Sorry, it's l I'm all, all those who said that, that I'm waiting for your VOD. I'm sorry that it took so much time. Well, I had I had some two gaps in between, so I couldn't do it so quickly. But it doesn't matter the reasons. The reason is that it's up now. You can watch it. So do that. Enjoy it. Share it for your friends. Tell it's Elvin, and, and and even if the if they don't like game, tell just it's Elvin, and they watch it, and all this kind of stuff. And even and well, it doesn't really matter. The thing is that it's cool game. It's Oracle and Ko versus Chita and Zebra Stripes. I'll be honest with you. I don't know the teams, which teams, but we can say it's pretty much NTS versus FIMS, two players of these, in 2v2 tournament. And this was supposed to be the best replay of the tournament. And it is also made into Hall of Fame, meaning it's a really good, it must be a really good game. And since I have actually watched it already, a little bit, but since I promised to tell, make VOD out of it, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll give my word. Even if it's one year and then 10,000 people have made VOD out of it, I'll do it, as I promised to do it. Okay, okay. Not always I do my promises, but almost always, whenever I remember. <laughs> but there we go. Let's do this thing. Uh, match gone down. And since this is actually so-called Hall of Fame replay, I'm going to be very critical. Okay, not so very critical, but I'm going to be pretty critical. So, Zebra Stripes and Cheetah both are going south. What is pretty normal for null players, because null players are so called a little bit weaker as the early games, what I totally don't agree with. And GDI is stronger players, what I also in some sense don't agree with. Uh, who is one going middle and one is going South. That totally shows that none of them don't actually care about North, and that means that KO can easily capture North, and that means they will also get easily all three North North nodes, including the third. So, but at the same time, what Zebra Stripe and Cheetah has is some sense of surprise. They have South after all; they will go together. Ah, I actually destroyed the carrier, but got it in the last moment again. So meaning that there was no harm done. So Sheeta is going cobras, meaning that these hunters are totally useless. Whatever he's going to do with these hunters, it's useless. He can't do anything. He can't shoot air. You know the mammoth tanks has anti-medium rockets, meaning that they are just so awesome. But hunters doesn't have them. I think they're useless, but now there comes the KO, and that's the KO work. Just look at that, he can do, take half of their health out with just one full of rockets. That's pretty, mu that's pretty amazing, I say. So, <clears throat> what is going on right now is that why I disagree is very simple. Both of them are amazing. If if person say that Hunter is stronger than Avenger, no, it's false. That's false inf information. The Hunter isn't stronger than Avenger. They are same strength. The difference is though that Avenger is faster. And, uh, Hunter is faster than Avenger, and that's ooh, nice. Oh, so close. That means that. A hunter is faster and if you do micro better you can do better job with hunters. But but if if they are in tight battle in somewhere, then it doesn't matter is it hunter or not, or is it Avenger? What matter is micro and skill of taking out units. So that's why I disagree. At the same time, if person makes banners you can take care of spanners with, for example, Venoms or maybe Raiders. If person makes go, if person makes Orcus, you can make Venoms to take care of Orcus. If person makes, I don't know, Venoms, person can make Bulldogs. In other words, there is counter. 
what makes difference is that if how players know use these, you know, the counter knowledge, many people just don't know how to use them. Or they aren't just so good at it. Or they're just unlucky going not against their un uh, their counter or their mate who is counter against air right now isn't there. That's why Zebra is alone and is getting owned a little bit. But that said, the game is right now going on, and you have, I think you have seen yourself what is going on a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say that Nord is doing so amazing job, because many people have said that if two, two, two players go in 2v2 south together, or north, or wherever they go together, they have a better chance, in some sense. It is true. If you go together, some you are going against one person is going south. You two of you are together indeed. Uh, and but if you're going against GDI, then if you're going against two GDI and you own them, then yet again, yes, it's going together to good because then you are on both and you can gain the map very quickly. But look at the bad side. If you go together and GDI is aware that it, you may go possibly go together and they decide to go together as well, then G GDI has maybe a little bit better counter system and they may have, a, in some sense, better choices. Meaning, if you lose the battle, then it's exactly the same as GDI. If you lose the battle, you are screwed. And let's be honest, once Nord is, you know, pushed into spawn, Nord is screwed. It's rare to make comeback. Usually the comebacks happen in Nord in tier 3. Yeah, you heard that. In tier 3. But, but they can make comeback if they don't make it to the tier 3. Well, right now they are pretty good because they are tier 2 already, but it's pretty good. But the Salamander choices might not be a good idea in some sense because he has Paladins. And Salamander is heavy, Paladin is light, anti-heavy. So, at the, but in other way I would say that Paladin, I mean Salamanders are pretty co good choices as well. You may ask why, but it's very easy. They are taking 10 SP, CP, that means uh, the, yeah, the points, how many you can build. Meaning, you can make full army of salamanders way, way faster than full army of Venoms. But let's be, let's look at the fact. Everyone knows that full, uh, full CP of Venoms are way better than full CP of salamanders against any kind of GDI army who is anti-medium. And so far salamander is anti-medium as well, meaning that... Yeah. So, salamanders are a unit that you should only make in the heat of battle. But whenever you're alone, and you, you can see the chance, make venoms. There we go. Um, get that, yeah, good girl. Ah, oh, anti rocket KO. KO. KO, where is your anti rocket? KO. 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 In this case, you should go full anti rocket and then and then own them, but you didn't do that. Right now your MCV is getting owned, you should move behind there with your paladins and on the anti-rocket mode, because then they won't get owned. Well, anyway, the cheetah did a good job in some sense, because KO didn't do a good job, and that's the basic stuff actually. If one person does good job, the other one doesn't do good job, usually. That's usually. The, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, that was really useful, Zebra. Yeah, that was better move. 
uh, what I wanted to say is that the exceptions are when person have objective and even if they are losing huge armies or whatever then they are doing good job holding it and at the same time maybe attacker might do good job as well taking care of units for their own you know their own benefit meaning that both of them may do good job which are with just one winner right now while you can see that Oracle took uh, south they left north completely untaken yeah oh why did you destroy it Oracle you should have sent hacker to the NTSKO inside the shepherd and then take the shepherd take the Tiberium and move it there not destroy it because you are thinking that Shepard will move away. Just think a little bit ahead, Oracle. I can still see any kind of anti rocket. You need to minimize the damage. I mean it. And your support MCV should take care of scalpels first thing, not anti ground. KO, you are doing too many mistakes right now. Good job, Tebra. You are doing amazing deep work as always. Yep, good job, Cheetah. You are taking care of the nodes in north and holding three nodes. That's the thing, actually. If as not, you have to hold three nodes under control, basically. Of course, more nodes never hurts. But the thing is that if you are at north and you lose at the north then what you do is not to try to make comeback at north you go at south ah mock that was half wasted mock why half wasted because there should have been more army Right now they aren't doing a thing much. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, when you are in the south and you lose the south, what you have to do is go north. Because north is totally undefended right now. There is only two units or maybe three units half dead. Oh well. Oh. That was fail, Ari. <laughs> so, and what you do as north, you take north and you come south after you make army it normally is enough time oh you normally have enough time to make remake army and remember always use uplink <laughs> because you'll build um, you'll be build army again way faster than normally I actually calculated it out if you are in uplink or uh, that or anywhere in the spawn zone you will get, you'll build your ATCP and let's say you make tanks, 6, six CP each you'll make your huge army in 45 seconds faster now imagine you're going north quickly your mate is still in south holding desperately they are trying to get every second as possible for you and then you are building army 45 seconds faster that means that you're ready to battle 45 seconds faster while you're and, and in that time when you go battle your mate is getting ready again that is a, that's a lot of time dude one minute is already a lot of time as well that's bad uh, shit that you should have actually, you know, these salamanders aren't helping anymore. In this case, I would go something else, you know. Okay, they are helping right now. They are scaring them away. What is helping? <laughs> Sorry, I take it back. I would, my personally, I would have gone maybe, I don't know, maybe I'd, I've told Zebra to go um, stealth attacks, stealth tanks. But that again depends, because 
to use stealth attacks effectively, you have to know how to use stealth attacks. Because if 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 Paladin has anti-rocket mode, none of the fucking rockets will reach the Paladins. I mean it. They're shooting like oh, 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 and none of them reach. That means you need to know how to use stealth attacks so away that's like half of the rockets will reach. And trust me, they can reach very easily just with whole fire, what I always use. Sadly, rarely I see more early people using stealth tanks with whole fire. Because whole, if I'm correct, I may be wrong here, but if I'm correct, oh, I love these hackers. Go! Oh, they should have gone inside. Ah, oh, go inside. Yeah, you got it. Get them. Yeah, I love that for some reason. I really love hackers. They're amazing units. We know how to use them. I personally don't know how to use them, so that's why I don't use them. I use them only if I want to try to test out to train myself how to use them. And I really love Avatar, especially Zebra Avatar. They look way sexier. Let's look at that. They look way uglier because of my computer, but else, yeah. But that's the thing. What I told you earlier, but I already forgot what I told you about. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh! Why, Gaia? You should have shot there. You should have done amazing damage over there. Seriously. These sculptors are really awesome. Ah, uh, we have mammoth tanks. These mammoth tanks just have to shoot sculptors. Because they have rockets, else they are useless. Okay, then they are useless. They can take care of many units. You need to upgrade though. Well, you can't get upgrades so easily. Ah, oh, love offense FCV, the column of fire. <laughs> There we go, upgrades, there they go. Now the scorpion should be totally useless against the mammoth tanks. Okay, not totally, but a lot of useless. Ah, love cheetah. Gotta love the hacker. Ah, oh, that was so sweet. Oh, that is so sweet. That is just so, oh, that is even more sweeter. That is so sweet! I love that! Was it you, record or you, KO? I don't know, whoever did that, you're amazing! I gotta love that! First of all, that mock looked awesome, but that what took the mock away was even more awesome! I mean it! That just looked awesome! So, right now, they're pretty even right now. Yeah, they are pretty even. That's because they are tier 3. And that's what I told you at the early game. If you want to win, you have to reach tier 3. You have to fight like you want to reach tier 3. If you don't fight, you do not reach tier 3. And I mean it. You need to have one. You have to fight for it. And well, Zebra is so-called amazing tier, amazing Tiberium stuff. But that, but of course that isn't because of only Zebra, that's because of Sheeta. I'm, I'm more than 100% sure that Zebra isn't doing the very work alone. That, that's impossible. That's just impossible, you know. It is impossible to do the very work alone. Yeah, I'm not joking. I'm damn serious. It is impossible to do in all the very work alone. Because there are always someone who is helping you. Okay, 
maybe it depends in some sense. If you're in dollar random game, then yeah, it's true. Then you can maybe do Tiberium work all alone because there is no one else doesn't know even know what the Tiberium is. But in a little bit more average, more than average, at least in average game, it is impossible to do Tiberium work alone. Oh, that mammoth ro mammoth tank rocked right now. He's shooting rockets at paladins, and paladin still doesn't have anti-rocket mode. But yeah. I'm 100% sure that Sebra didn't do the very work alone. Cheetah at least, I don't know. I'm sure they are well in Skype or something and, and Cheetah said that green, blue, probably Sebra did a lot of him, him herself as well, but Cheetah probably helped as well. And same goes for Cheetah, I mean same goes for KO and Oracle. I'm pretty sure they, they both shouted as well, because it is pretty much possible to do it alone. At some point game, you, there is at least some teamwork. Oh, nice. If you use um, the... What is that upgrade? Uh, oh, that was sweet. That was sweet. That was damn sweet. Uh, if you use the... The boost, the shoot boost. GDI shoot, shoot boost, whatever it was called. Then the healers heal way faster. Or, yeah, they heal way faster. So, if you are in the heat of battle, sometimes using the boost on your tanks might not be primary if you have only 10 SP. Maybe using them on heal is better because they on not only heal faster, they heal your whole army pretty quickly. But that is only, of course, in the case that your army need a repair or there is some kind of heat of battle. It's actually pretty much the same. No, using mock, try to use on healers as well because healers heal damn fast everything up. And you can't win and sometimes it's necessary in the heat of battle. Oh poor KO. Yeah, that's, 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 that's amazing job, Oracle. That's amazing. You are going and taking north. You should take that as well, else they will get just too late and spawn there. But that's an amazing job. You are losing south. Don't fuck around in south. Go north. That's genius. And then someone goes middle and take care of meal as well. And then you'll make... To make... You move in. That's the spirit. Oh no, move away, these... Oh, okay. Oh no. Get that. Oh no. Doesn't pay attention to it. That was genius though. Wow. Don't tell me KO actually won that battle over there, because if I look behind... I saw Cheetah or Zebra, I think it was Cheetah, Cheetah totally overhelming KO and he was getting owned at south. But I thought he, I thought he was goner, that was, wow. Should move in with your Mastodon, use the secondary depth charge and just shoot them, support MCV. That would be not only surprise, that would just own him. It is also, you know, secret, how would you make, you know. How to make um, surprise or may force someone to leave? Nice, KO. Take care of that support MCV. Oh yeah, there is anti-rocket mode. Finally, I love it. Oh, don't tell me all your units are anti-rocket. Yeah, that's that's good thing. Kill it. What? There we go, good boy. That's a good boy. Remember, um, I remember that Oracle said in my in one video. I think if it was mm, sexy team versus cheetah stripes, cheetah stripe, whatever it was, Oracle said that whenever you use Kodiak's secondary defensive maneuvers, then 
it takes a lot more damage and and it's only useful to use when you know when you, he, it is target but that totally false, in, false information you see when you read it when use the gonna dramatically increases its armor and speed yeah it's true passively increase the armor of nearby allies and can no longer fire it increases nearby allies armor and trust me if there is like this huge army then one Gordiak on defensive maneuvers can make the difference it does amazing armor now imagine one Gordiak between the paladins and paladins taking care of all these I don't know a basilisk maybe this is insane that Gordiak would own with his defensive maneuvers so but I'm not I'm not saying anything bad I'm just saying that if possible use one Gordiak for defensive maneuvers especially in 2v2 people are thinking that oh one Gordiak on defensive maneuvers <laughs> what a noob just staying there doing nothing what a noob why should I attack this tell me why and then then in the, and then next moment he's like what I shooted that crawler with my my 100 scorpions and it made no damage what the heck and then they have no idea that it was actually the Kodiak on defensive maneuvers but actually ate up a load of damage huh so so well I'm, I am not sure always if always taking care of the Kodiak with defensive maneuvers is the best idea but it certainly is sometimes good idea because taking care of it yeah it's true it eats up a loads of damage its armor is increased a lot yeah it is increased a lot that means that they are pretty much harder to destroy but at the same time it it takes a lot of other units nearby units damage as well uh uh there we go what you gonna do? 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 What you gonna do when I'm coming for you? Ah, oh, it's getting o taken over. Oh, it's so strong. <laughs> what? <laughs> he actually captured the Mastodon in the very, very, very last millisecond, meaning he captured it and then his own units destroyed his Mastodon. And then it became Ari called Husk. Even if no, 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 no. Actually, never mind. No, it still became Ari. I thought it would have become Zebra Stripes or I don't know, Cheetah Husk. Never mind. It was funny though. He captured it in the last second, and his own units destroyed it. Right now, Ari It's not very nice move in some sense. Going north alone. Yeah, actually, I can't say nothing much. Oh, oh! It's almost instant capture. Just look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh wait, that wasn't instant. It was almost instant. There we go. It was quick capture in some sense. <laughs> Maybe he used anti already. I didn't even notice. Well, in some sense, it was good move. I recall. You made some time for your teammate getting the south. But um. It isn't always a good idea. Sometimes you need to regroup at maybe south and to come back together. And you surely should take care of that. Just take a look around the map. You see one MCV. Second MCV. Oh! He has no... He cannot spawn. It means he cannot spawn here. We can easily take care of it. And the second thing is that you cannot say excuse right now that Oh, I have no idea where it is because it's next to node. Meaning you should see that oh actually yeah right you can see uplink so you cannot you don't know about the other support MCB but still usually they are always on the battlefield especially if it's supportive it's like if you see ship saber strap offensive MCB then you know that the supportive is in game because you need support points you need it 
I don't see any Archangel though. This right now Archangel would own. Get Archangel in mid of army. Use the ability to increase the damage and they just rape everything on the way. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I'm not joking around. Ah. Uh, owned by engineer. Nice one, Arigold. Well, they're forced south again, and now, yeah, now you go north, Arigold. Good job. Destroy it there. Yep. That happens if your units are on hold fire. I love that that Tetin Ocean. They still can take care of it because of that stealth tank, so now that stealth tank is going to attack the engineer. There you go. Oracle is going middle. But they are owing three nodes, so they are doing excellent. Oh nice. I think it was nice. Should be nice. Nice timing to take her up. Why I don't see any heal at all? Why is it so slow? Ah, he's going to lose it. If he's not going to lose it, I'm going to eat my balls. <laughs> I mean it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it might survive actually. <gasps> my god. It is survived. It survived. It actually survived. Now destroy it. Destroy it. Come on. Don't take it with ours. No, don't send it back. What are you doing, KO? Don't give away free. Po oh my god. Oh my. Oh my eyes. They are bleeding. They are bleeding. What are you doing? Where is. Where is this banner? Oh my god. It's got even poison. What are you doing? There we go. Oh no, that was awful KO. <sighs> well, you are only a little bit behind, so you need, I think you need 200 points, 2000 points, so they have two nodes, so taking care of MC. Take Basilisk first. Basilisk first. I think Basilisk should be first. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, that's we go. Nice! Nice job, Ari Golden Geo. And Zebra and Shita. Very good game. Well, there were some mistakes. Yeah, I agree. There were some mistakes what I I didn't like. But there were some stuff that was really cool. Overall, it was very awesome match. Very well played. Really, really well played. I would say that these kind of games, who are close games, are pretty rare as well. Of course, both of them had many mistakes indeed, but that's that's a natural thing. We all have mistakes. So even though I was I was criti I criticized a lot, don't mind me. Just you know, you can improve yourself or something, and it's just you know my opinion or so. So take don't take it very seriously. Let's see. Crawler skilled Oracle two KO one Shita one. Crawlers lost doesn't matter. Oops, actually it does. Okay, they lost three crawlers, but they killed one. That means two crawlers got Teddy noted in time. And if I correct that Sheeta, yeah, KO lost his crawler. That means Ari called two crawlers should be in um Teddy note I mean Teddy noted, yeah. Units killed and lost, let's see. Ari called killed sixty-seven lost 49 1.37 KO killed 68 I mean 78 I, can, I don't know how to read anymore units lost 65 uh, 1.2 Shita 62 killed Zebra 45 killed 
lost 85 Shita, that's pretty much. But you crushed right pretty much as well, so you are still cool, you did a good job with your salamanders and all that. Because, well, in the heat of battle and having 80 C SP, I mean CP, salamanders aren't in some sense a good idea because you build them faster. But of course you may lose them faster as well. Well, at least you don't have to worry about mine drops. <laughs> and Zebra 69. And let's see what else does matter. It doesn't matter. KO 32 support powers. That's good. That's good. KO, respect. You use your support powers, meaning that I respect you in a way more now. Because the person who uses support power is, you know, support player after all. Good job. But you should have done a little bit more supportive job because sometimes you were alone. But you're support. You know, support means helping each other. Hmm. Cheetah were helping Zebra a lot because he was support. And I think he had only 11 because of we saw many mocks. But we, we also saw many mocks taken away by KO. Ah, but thank you for watching. That's all. Next time, peace off.